Hi there. This is the Guillon Hotel and there are probably 20 weddings going on exactly the same time behind me. It's absolutely crazy. They come on a Saturday and a Sunday. Get married, I guess, somewhere else, but they come here for the photographs. And the different choirs sing all at the same time, so it's absolutely manic here. <laughs> I've stayed here nearly every year that I've come here and I'm out in the gardens this afternoon. I've been here for two days and I'm heading down to a place called Adema, used to be called Nazareth, about, well, I don't know, two, two and a half hours south from here, down in the Rift Valley. So it's a beautiful drive down and I'm there for the next couple of days. I hold a conference every year with a hundred pastors and leaders and it's a wonderful time. So I'm really looking forward to that. So I'll come back and tell you a little bit about it. God bless you. Sometimes people ask me, is it worth doing what I do? I suppose I could just send the money here. This trip has probably cost me a thousand pounds. Travel, hotel, the meal that I'll cover tomorrow for the pastors, I paid for that yesterday. At least I think I've paid for it. I paid four and a half thousand dollars. But the prices over here have more than doubled. Injera, which is their stable food, cost per kilo last year about 700 burr. This year it's 1500 burr, so it's more than doubled. So prices have gone crazy. Is it worth it? We'll see. is a fantastic verse of scripture. over I've had two sessions with them just spent lunch with a couple of guys and it's been really encouraging for me today actually because everybody here has their own story a hundred of them leaders but one of the guys at lunch was telling me how he first came eight years ago I was speaking on JP2 on the judges and also the next year on Nehemiah and he spoke about how it changed his life and over this past eight years he's planted uh, 25 churches so that's been a real a real blessing to hear that many of the others that I'm encouraged with as well Prison Fellowship Ethiopia who of course I work closely with in 2012 they've led seven and a half thousand men to the Lord in the prisons here so I'm encouraged by that I can't do those sort of things but God didn't tell me to do them he told me to go and help my brothers possess their land and so if I can encourage them to go and reach people then it's got to be worth it hasn't it
Jehovah will heal this land. Shall we speak blessing on Ethiopia today? We speak healing over this nation. We speak blessing over the Prime Minister and the President. We speak blessing on the field. We speak blessing on the field. Blessing on the city. Blessing over every family in this nation. We speak blessing over your church. Blessing over every minister and their family. We pray that we will see the glory of the Lord fill this nation once again. Just as the waters covered the sea. And we say amen to that Lord Jesus. Let it be. Amen. Abujit Fantamon Abujit 